Now at six, a somber anniversary. Today marks five years since the deadly bridge collapse at Florida International University. Six people were killed when the pedestrian bridge collapsed onto busy Southwest 8th Street. And a special ceremony was held today to remember the victims and Local 10's Hatzel Vela was there. Hatzel. Calvin, yes, you said it yourself, quite a somber day here at FIU as we remember those victims. This as we learn more about that pedestrian bridge that is yet to be rebuilt. 147 this afternoon. Six lives lost, remembered. Today is a very sad moment for us. So every year that we can, we will come over here and remember her and the other victims of the tragedy. Orlando Duran, there for his daughter Alexa, an FIU student killed five years ago, now forever remembered at this campus memorial. Right now she would be 24 years old. We miss her so much. On March 15th, 2018, we also lost Navarro Brown, Alberto Arias, Oswaldo Gonzalez, Rolando Fraga, and Brandon Brownfield. The National Transportation Safety Board concluded the design was the probable cause of the collapse. They also found that design errors were not caught by an independent peer review. All parties, including FIU, were criticized for not closing the road given the cracks on the bridge. All they had to do was stop traffic. This would not have ever happen. FIU's president, who was at today's memorial, gave us an update on the new pedestrian bridge set to cross over Southwest 8th Street, connecting FIU students from the university's main campus to Sweetwater. Currently, the schedule is to close the road uh, around 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. every day. And so construction on the new bridge will it start at the end of this year. Construction expected to last about two years. Calvin, Nicole, back to you.